Concerns have been raised by members of parliament as guidelines on handling flexible work arrangement requests are set to kick in come December. Now, these include whether the move would make Singapore less attractive for investors. Another is the recourse available to workers who feel their case has been rejected unreasonably. Sabrina Ung with more. Come the end of the year, workers could request flexible work arrangements, or FWAs, in terms of hours, location and load. And efforts are already in place to help ease this transition for employers. TAFEP will be conducting monthly briefings for employers starting from May. The first few runs have already been fully subscribed. TAFEP will provide more guidance to help employers understand the types of flexible work arrangements they can offer to employees with different needs, such as senior employees who may prefer flexi-load or mobility-challenged workers who may need telecommuting arrangements. Ms Gan acknowledged that some types of firms, like SMEs, will require more targeted support. This will be done through briefings and training sessions, for example. But potential issues remain. My concern is whether this will make Singapore a less attractive place for companies to come to invest in if they feel that the manpower policies are too onerous on the companies. There is no intention whatsoever for these guidelines uh, to intervene on how companies should decide on the flexible work arrangement requests uh, coming from the employees, as long as the employers apply a proper process in evaluating and responding to the flexible work arrangement requests. Another MP asked about the avenues available to workers who may feel their requests have been rejected on unreasonable grounds. Employees who uh, feel that their employers have not considered their requests properly, not based on business grounds but perhaps personal bias, um, can approach the union members or the union leaders if they are unionised companies. If not, they can go to TAFEP. TAFEP will be very happy to walk through with the employers on their responsibilities under the guidelines. There was also the concern that FWAs will affect those part of the progressive wage model. The PWM um, was a carefully crafted sectoral base um, wage which helps to uplift the wages of all of our low wage workers. And in the implementation in terms of uh, any form of guidelines, particularly the tripartite guidelines on flexible work arrangements, the spirit of the PWM should really lead the entire thinking behind this. Dr Tan also called on all parties to come together to make this work for the betterment of Singapore's future generation of workers.